Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. Today I'll be comparing the Intel i5 6400 Skylake processor with the AMD FX8350 and FX9590 CPUs. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm kinda late to this, but I've just gotten the chance now and want to bring you these comparison videos so you don't have to miss out on useful information these videos might can give you. At least I hope so. The three CPUs all come in at a bit differently price points, but not too far away from each other either. In fact, the i5-6400 and FX8350 are very close. The FX8350 being just a bit cheaper, but the FX9590 is noticeably more expensive. So how well do these CPUs stack up against each other? Let's find out. Alright, these are some pretty interesting results. Let's keep this one short. When gaming there's not all that much of a difference noticeable, especially not between the i5-6400 and the FX9590. But the 8350 doesn't fall back behind by much either. But still, the i5-6400 manages to beat the FX CPUs no matter what. It's just that most of the time it's not a huge performance gain, really depending on the game actually. In certain rendering applications the FX CPUs manage to take the crown over the i5 processor, but in some aspects of this type the i5 still comes out on top. Let's admit it, while these FX CPUs are still the latest around by AMD, practically they're not, at least not in that performance category. I can't complain about temperatures at all, not really important to me for such a quick comparison video. Where these new Intel Skylake CPUs particularly shine is their impressive power efficiency, especially compared to AMD's power-hungry FX CPUs as seen in the charts. But hey, we have to take into account, these are relatively old processors. What stands out in the AMD side of things is their unlock multiplier, allowing the user to overclock the CPUs easily to squeeze out more performance. But that extra performance doesn't really affect gaming all that much, rendering and productivity stuff, yes it does. In the end it's a matter of preference between these processors. However, I wouldn't really bother with the FX9590. Just get yourself the 8350 and overclock it a little to get to the 9590's level if you decide to go the AMD route. And that's all I have to say at this point. I hope you found this video to be useful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.